Hi there, we're nearly through in our derivation of the proof of the Gauss-Markov theorem and in this video we are going to be finding the variance of our estimator beta tilde. So beta tilde we had from the last video is equal to beta plus the sum of bi times ui, where I haven't assumed anything um, in actually writing this down like this, other than the fact that the sum of bi is going to be equal to zero from i plus one to n, and also that we have that the sum of bi xi from i equals one to n has got to be equal to one. So those are the conditions which we derived in the previous video in order for beta tilde to be unbiased. So let's assume that our weights bi are basically equal to our least squares weights, which I'm going to call vi, plus some sort of difference. So I can assume that without loss of generality, that, that's fine. And, and then I can put this into this above relationship here. So I've got the beta tilde is equal to beta plus the sum of vi plus ci times ui here. So again, this sum is going from i equals 1 to n. So when I go ahead and I take the variance of both sides of this, well, I'm going to get the variance of beta tilde is equal to, well, the variance operator is going to pass straight through this beta here because it's just a, a constant. A constant doesn't vary, so it has zero variance. And using the same sort of um, assumptions, uh, well, using exactly the same assumptions as for the least squared estimator, namely that of homoscholastic errors and no serial correlation, I find that the variance of beta tilde is equal to sigma squared times the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi plus ci all squared. And if you don't understand why I've squared this, it's just because the variance of some number a times a stochastic variable x is just equal to a squared times the variance of x. And I go into more detail um, when I derive the variance for the least squared estimator a few videos ago. So this is our variance of beta tilde. We can expand this. So we have that the variance of beta tilde is going to be equal to sigma squared times the sum of vi squared plus two times the sum of vi ci plus the sum of ci squared. And I, I sort of haven't written in the, uh, the indexes, indices of summation here just because we sort of know it's always running from i, uh, I equals 1 to n. Okay, so we know that from the sort of condition for beta tilde to be unbiased that the sum of bi has got to be equal to zero. We can use that to simplify our variance expression. So the sum of bi equal to zero is just the, sum, the same as the sum of vi plus ci has got to be equal to zero, where I've just used the sort of expression here that bi is equal to vi, our least squared weights, plus a small difference ci. And again, this is summing from i equals 1 to n. We know from least squares that the sum of vi is actually equal to zero. So this actually implies that the sum of our um, ci is going to be equal to zero. So using our first condition that the sum of bi has to be equal to zero, we derive that the sum of ci has to be equal to zero. Now we're going to use our second condition to derive another condition on ci. So writing out this expression here, but using our new definition of bi, which is that bi is equal to vi plus ci times xi. And again, we're summing from i equals 1 to n. If I sort of write this out explicitly or write out the individual terms, that's the sum of i equals 1 to n of vi times xi plus the sum of ci times xi, where again I'm summing from i equals 1 to n. And remember that this entire expression has to sum to 1 because that's our condition for beta tilde to be unbiased. Also remember that from our sort of least squared estimator and derivation, we found that this sum of vi times xi has to be equal to 1. Well, if this whole expression is going to be equal to 1, this means that this term here in the middle uh, the sum of ci xi has to be equal to zero. So in other words, just writing that out explicitly, the sum of i equals one to n of ci xi has to be equal to zero. We are going to use our sum of ci equal to zero and our sum of ci xi 
being equal to zero, together with our variance of beta tilde, to finalize our proof of the Gauss-Markov theorem in the next video. I'll see you then.